delusion. That they have their own delusion. Come on. That they should believe a lie. That they shall believe that Christmas has something to do with Christ. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. German pagans, and then later on commercialized in the 1900s to give you these chocolate bunnies, and you can decorate these eggs, right? But that's you celebrating the the, the deity, uh, Astar or Star, fertility goddess. It ain't got nothing to do with your power shot being resurrected, right? How did how did Christ sit in the side of, of sit inside of the tomb three days, three nights? And died on Good Friday and resurrect on Sunday. Y'all don't even do the math. Y'all don't even count it, man. Y'all don't even care. You don't even care, man. You don't care enough to see, okay, wait a minute. That don't even make no sense. How, how they got three days and three nights out of that. And that's what we do, man. We run off when we get embarrassed, man. When we get correct. The brother about to sit up here and hit somebody's car. And now he, now he got to speed off. He upset. And that's how we are spiritually with our sins, man. Somebody correct us and give us some kind of correction, some kind of reproof, and we got to speed off or we get offended. So you got to have a chin for a rebuke, man. Right? A wise man knows how to take rebuke. Give me uh, Proverbs 9 and uh, 8. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, and verse 8. Reprove not a scorner. It says, reprove not a scorner, but what? Lest he hate thee. Unless he hate thee. Come on. Rebuke a wise man. But if you correct a wise man, then what? And he will love thee. He will love you, man. If you correct a wise person, he going to love you, man. He going to love you. And that's what we out here to do, man, to bring correction. To correct our people, to let you know that Easter, celebrate Easter is a is is, is a sin, man. Is an abomination. Is is idolatry, right? And you're breaking one of the greatest commandments, man, which is have no other gods other than me, man. You don't understand how many times in the text that the Most High says that He's a jealous God. He's a jealous God. Paul said, "I I I I've I've married you." To one person to be a chaste version unto one person and one God. But we don't see the importance of that, man. So we, we'll throw that away to color some Easter eggs, man. To color some boiled eggs. We'll throw that away to eat some eat some chocolate, some caramel eggs, man. We'll throw that away for fables. Give me that in um in uh Mark. Keep going on that right there, though. And give me that in Mark chapter um, 7, verse, start at 7, verse 7. Verse 9, give instruction to a wise man. Give instruction to a wise man, elder. You believe in the Bible? No, oh, yes, sir. You understand Jesus Christ was a black man? You know your nationality according to the Bible? I ain't got yet, but... Uh... All praise, all praise. So what we bring out is that the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, that we are the true children of Israel. A lot of times when we read this book, we read it from a Gentile mindset. And if we're reading it from a Gentile state, thinking that we're Gentiles, then we're not going to know our place. Right? And things ain't going to play out the way they need to play out because we don't we don't know the instructions that are that have been given to us as, as God's chosen nation of people. Right? Give me Deuteronomy 76. And give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you why we say that we are the true children of Israel. I ain't going to just tell you. I'm going to show you why we established that within the text. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. He says, thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God 
has chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself. He chose you to be a special people unto himself. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He chose us to be above all people that are upon the face of this earth. Right? Come on. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any other people. And he didn't choose us because we were more in number. This is an underdog story, right? It's an underdog story. But he chose us to be his greatest nation of people. We're the greatest nation of people on this earth. To be above all nations on this earth. Are we above all nations, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans? Are they above all nations on this earth? Not right. Not as of yet. Excellent. Excellent. Not as of yet. Huh. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. I'm going to show you why not as of yet. Right. Way at the, at the bottom. Under their feet. They having that George Floyd case right now. It ain't even a George Floyd. Watch them kill them. And we got and we got to watch a trial. We got to watch justice uh, take its course. But we couldn't. We, it, it couldn't take its course with, with him. Right? Shouldn't even need. We got everything on film. It should have already been fried. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So that's what we're dealing with. We, we haven't listened. That's why the book's so big. We never listen. And right now we're dealing with these curses that have been put upon us. Amen. Right? Drop down to verse 68. You had something you want to say, Elder? Yeah, I just want to say, I, I've seen the young boy, I feel like God has, 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 has more to the reprobate mind. You about the reprobate mind. Right, right, right. It's Come on. Crazy they don't they don't care about nothing. Right. They don't, you know, gave them over to their own lust. We'll get into that. Give me that in Romans uh, 1 and 21. Sorry about 21. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He says the Lord going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. All right. And we know Egypt is Misraim, which means bondage. All right, it means bondage. If you look, Israel, uh, uh, if you look up uh, Egypt in the Bible, in the in a dictionary, it's gonna give you, it's gonna tell you bondage. Do we got uh, that other sign? That's all the signs we brought. Yes, sir. All right, keep going. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh, and no there, man, you ain't gonna see it no more again. Come on. And there, you shall be sold unto your enemies. And there, we gonna be sold unto our enemies. Ah. Right. So we got here, we got sold unto our enemies. Keep going. For bond men and bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. Go ahead and bring that out. Uh, so that's where we at. We got sold into our captivity. Sixteen, nineteen came over here in slave ships. Right. This is the book of Romans. <laughs> Chapter 1 and verse 21. Because that when they knew God. Listen to this, bro. Listen to this. They glorified him not as God. Uh -huh. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination. Became vain in their imaginations. Come on. And their foolish hearts were darkened. Uh -huh. Professing themselves to be wise. They professed themselves to be wise, but what? They became fools. Uh-huh. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image made like to corruptible man. Like Easter bunnies. Keep going. <laughs> and to birds uh -huh. and four-footed beasts uh -huh. and creepy things. And creepy things like the Easter bunny. Come on. <laughs> Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own heart. And see, that's what we were just talking about, these young kids. He gave them up to uncleanness to the lust of their own hearts. Crazy Come on. <laughs> to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Uh-huh. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Uh-huh. And worship and serve the creature. More than the more than the creator. More than the creator. Keep going. Right. Who is blessed forever. Amen. 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 All right, brother. I ain't even gonna hold you up. What's your name, brother? My name is Byron Jackson. Myron Jackson, brother. Next time you got a little time, next time you got a little time, you stop back and check it yeah, up with okay. us. I'm right there on White Hill, so you know I. Okay. Stop out here on, on 
Air Saturday around this time. All right, brother. See you next week. Take care. So he gave us over to a reprobate mind, man. He gave us over to our own lust. And that reprobate mind just means a, a, a mind unfit, man. A mind that didn't pass the test. Right? And we end up getting bugged out out here, man. Give me that Deuteronomy 28. Give me back to them, uh, them, 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 uh, them curses. Right, what you want? 28 and... 28, 28. 28, 28. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. It says the Lord shall smite us with madness, man. He'll smite us with madness. Right? Like, uh, uh, we don't have sound mind. We're not disciplined, right? Uh, we, we're, we're insane. We're crazy, man. We crazy. To be honest, we, ain't, we don't live logically. We don't live logically. That's why That's why we go out here making $10 an hour with $500 tennis shoes on, man. That's stricken with madness, man. That's stricken with madness. Keep going, huh? And blindness and astonishment of heart. And blindness and astonishment of heart, man. We blind out here. And we being led by the blind. Blind being led by the blind, man. Both shall fall into a ditch. Both going to fall into a ditch. Keep going, huh? And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And at the blind that gropeth in darkness. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 59, verse uh, 9. We groping for the walls, man. If, if, if you celebrating Easter, you blind. If you're celebrating Easter Sunday, you are totally blind. If you can't count three days and three nights from Friday to Sunday, and you think it's three days, three nights, and now you blind. And you just being led by somebody that's blind. And we got to understand that. If you believe eat bunnies lay eggs, man, you blind. But it's all fun and games. We, and that's what, that's what I'm saying. You can't play with God, man. You can't play with God, man. We just read about another deity. was the deity of uh, what, what, wine and orgies, man. Where we got the word debauchery from, man. Because we want to play. And we'll celebrate anything that allows us to go out here and play and have some festival. Brother, you come back to the word, man. You believe in the Bible, Elder? You believe in the Bible? I, what's in the Bible? Do you have faith that that Christ died for your sins? Right. Which one? Yahweh shot. Yahweh shot. Jesus was, 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 was the son of God. Jesus is the son of God. You believe he died for your sins? You said it wasn't Jesus. You can't find Jesus. You can't find Jesus. I ain't, but, but, you don't like when you were born, right? You got DNA. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 But you ain't gonna find no Jesus well, back then. That's what I'm saying. Because well, there was never a Jesus back then. But when I was, was saying, no J. No, no, look, no, no. when I was saying Yahweh Shah, I'm giving you Paleo Hebrew. He you just gave me Modern Hebrew with Yeshua. Understand. I understand. I was telling you yeah. Yahweh yeah. Shah. Now that, that's even acceptable. But that accepting that changing that name, it's like whatever you came in the world, your name is okay. You can change it. You got to transmit a race. You got a transliteration, But that's brother. not the greater. That's not a translation. Okay, translation. Will transliteration, be, not yeah, translation. Translate, transliteration. Because sometimes in languages, there are certain words that just, that just can't be expressed in that language. So just like you said, Yahshua, that ended up getting transliterated into Joshua. Yeah. Right? It ended up getting trans. So Joshua and Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, actually have the exact same name they have the exact same name but they made it they made it into jesus because i said they have the exact same name that's a lion belly that what you stand on what he the alpha and omega don't none of that take away from that but i'm telling you it's been transmitted listen to me brother that's been transmitted. I said, I'm telling you. The word ain't gonna change. 
That's what I'm telling you, huh? That's what I'm telling you, bro. That's what I'm telling you. We talk, we talk about transliteration, bro. We talk about translation in Bible, bro. We talk, we talk about translation. Look at that, Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 91. Okay. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Okay. My God, in Him will I trust. Okay. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Okay. Let me ask you this, since what we were talking about. Who is the Lord? Who is the Lord? What's his name? So when it say L, capital S, he's out the I'm trying to educate you. Listen to me, brother. L O R D. Jesus, there was no J in the Bible. There's no J. There's no J in Hebrew, brother. There ain't no J in Hebrew. Is there any J in Hebrew, bro? Every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Yeah, there ain't no J, brother. Brother, there ain't no J in Hebrew, bro. There ain't no J. There ain't no J, bro. This nigga right ain't believing J. This nigga believing J. And both of them are wrong. Listen, I ain't gonna just listen. Listen, I ain't disagreeing with what you're saying, bro. But I'm trying to let you know that there was no J 400 years ago. Nothing taken away from the Alpha, him being the Alpha and Omega, brother. But you need, but you just need to understand that. You need to understand it. Give me all that, that, that Proverbs 9 and 8. I'm talking about, hey, y'all about to tighten up on the Proverbs 9? 9 and verse 9. This is the book of Proverbs. Where you going, brother? Come back and listen to this verse real quick. Come, come back and listen to this verse. I what I'm deceiving you with. <laughs> All right, brother. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 9 and verse 9. Come on. Give instruction to a wise man. And what? And he will be yet wiser. And he'll be wiser. Our people are so foolish, we don't even understand that the J was invented 400 years ago, man. We don't even understand that the King James Bible uh, 1611 didn't have no J's in it, man. But we know everything, man. We don't understand that, uh, that Yahweh child, who the world is called Jesus Christ, and Joshua had the exact same name, man. Huh? And that name was translated from Yahweh to Yeshua to Joshua, man. Huh? And Yahweh was translated to Jehovah. But we know everything, man. Huh? And can't nobody tell us nothing but the white man. Can't nobody tell us nothing but our oppressor, man. Huh? And we are here on these highways and byways to give you this information, man. We're not here to buck up against you, man. We're here to tell you if you in sin, but we're here to give you this information, man. That's right. Not be taught, because if you was out here to be a teacher, you'll be out here teaching the people already, man. If you was out here to be a teacher, you'll be teaching already, man. And give me James 3 and 1. Keep going on that. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. It says teach a just man, and he will what? Increase in learning. And he will increase in learning, man. Now people get tripped up over that. Now people get tripped up. Keep going. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. We got to fear dust, says the Lord, man. We got to fear dust, says the Lord. Keep going. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Give me that James 3. This is the book of James. Chapter 3 in verse 1. Come on. My brethren, uh -huh. be not many masters. It says, be not many masters, man. Be not many masters. Why? Knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. Because teachers are going to receive the greater condemnation, man. If you out here misleading our people and telling them misinformation, you're going to receive the greater condemnation, man. 
So you got to take that thing serious. And if knowledge being presented to you, examine the knowledge, man. Improve all things. Give me that in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. 